Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Next in this release of this uh, of this Jinghu line from Dark Source line, I guess, from Joy Toy is this Yunping Chin or Yunping Chen, Yunping Chin uh, action figure, uh, historicalish Chinese fancy martial arts figure. She does look really good in the press photos. A nice looking figure on this box here. Still got the selfie on. Comes with the, we can see, two pairs of extra hands, the sword and sheath, the hat and the cloak. Nice looking figure, a bit difficult to see. It's quite dark, the photography, or the backgrounds on a black figure, dark sort of red robes. But looks really cool. Let me just quickly uh, cut this cellophane, this plastic off, to get a look at the box. And we have a quick unboxing before I pause it and we get a first look at the actual figure. I'll put timestamps for this in the uh, video description if you want to skip ahead. Get a better look there. Looks really nice, I have to say. Okay, let's get a look inside. If you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen now. You can see content like this early. Today is Friday the 13th. <laughs> and you might be seeing this later if you're on normal... Uh, YouTube or Patreon to see the same day that it is made. There's also discount links for various different toy stores, so it is worth checking out, even if just for that as well. Looks pretty cool. The cloak I'm not a fan of because that's just it just for you know you can't do much with it. It's just going to keep the hands in place because it's not soft goods. But I guess it's all right. The sword looks good. Looks a bit no, it's off. It is straight, just that is at an angle. The hat looks good and the hands look pretty cool too. Okay, let me set this up and let's get into this back in a second. Okay, here she is and she looks absolutely amazing. So she comes with this cloak. We saw this cloak one of the releases. Um, I'm not a big fan of it because even though it's pliable, it's just too thick. You know, it's just for some poses. She can look relaxed or... You know, stand up with a nice cloak. I'd rather have an action pose, if I'm honest. But it's nice to have it. Uh, she comes with two pairs of hands. I have swapped her left hand open. You can see that her left hand is the palm facing forwards one. So I've swapped that over. But otherwise, she has open left hand, which we can we get a focus here, which we've seen before. Uh, she comes with left hand gripping for like. A sword or weapon she comes with left hand fist and she comes with right hand pointing now really this one should have been the left hand left hand pointing um, with two fingers if you know about Jian Chinese straight swords the other hand that doesn't have the sword normally has two fingers pointing now her them giving to her in her right hand would mean surely she's going to be left-handed holding the sword. But I don't know. That's just me. And then she comes with the scabbard. And the scabbard has a dummy sword to go in if they're not using the sword. And if you're using the sword, you to take out the dummy handle. So it looks like it's unsheathed, unscathed. She does look really, really nice. Okay, so let's bring her for a close look. See the sword that she comes with. This is... Uh, New one for this line, very nice. Got the hat on, she comes with two. Nice head sculpt, but the head does sit a little high. You can see the joint underneath. Good sculpting on the clothes. She's got a nice action pose I did there. You see how the uh, scabbard for the sword fits in the back. She is a very nice figure. Very beautiful to pose. Looks very, very cool indeed. Let me see, and she gets a really, really good bend on the bicep too. We'll look at that in a moment when we do articulation. Very, very cool. So I straighten her out. Um, hat's not too difficult to put on. Let's look at articulation. It's looking like it's going to be really, really good. I'll keep the hat on for now. Let's try and get our focus sorted out. So head. Good forwards, backwards, good side to side, really good turn. Feels a little loose, but it does look nice just that you get that gap you can see underneath the neck, but underneath the neck, but very good articulation. Shoulders, we get all the way around. I'll get away a little bit. Out to the side, they do get 
above 90 degrees, which is good. Um, bicep bend, you can see is over 90 degrees, which is fantastic. There is a mm, swivel from the shoulder, not really from the bicep. You could, yeah, you can swivel from the bicep a little bit. And then a hand is that joint system. You've got to line up the joint to actually move the hand, which I'm not a fan of. I prefer the barbell system like in the 40k figures and the Sorrow Expeditionary Forces figures. She's got trunk at the top, small forwards, backwards, tiny side to side, and she can turn. Has she got waist? Yeah, she can twist on the waist. She can move side to side a little bit, forwards, backs a little bit. So together, her trunk on the forwards is pretty good. On the backwards, it's not bad. And side to side is all right too. Hips, head's popped off. Clothes get in the way, but it's not bad on the legs. I'm just dropped there. So it'd be good for doing some sort of kicking postures and poses. Let me just pop a head back in. There. Forwards is good, has to be said. A lot of figures struggle to get flat. Hers is slightly over flat. Backwards. is good as well approaching a full splits figures often go out to the side with a leg her leg is still straight there is a thigh turn there is a double kneecap very very tight which is fantastic again um, there is no boot turn unfortunately though you can turn and twist with the foot there is a good tippy toe There is a not bad dorsiflexation as well. And there's no toe articulation. She is a great looking figure. Let me just stand her up straight and we'll get a measurement. So in terms of size, she is 10, about 10 to the top of the head. Top of the hair is about 11 cm. So pretty good. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Let's get her back into a nice pose. Maybe the similar pose to last time. Have a sword more down this time. Uh, let's do that one there, that one that way. Nearly. Okay, that should be it. Very nice for the poses. If I compare her with her sister and brother from the same line, we've got three absolutely fantastic figures. Now, uh, in order of preference, then let me just say this off the bat, all three are really good. Some are Joy Toys finest. Um, in order of preference, number one, she by far is my favourite. Number two, then number three. But they are all very, very good. Ready to battle your demons, your monsters, your dragons. Maybe even you want to battle some other figures from different toy lines. Maybe you want to battle... I can't find why I stuck his sword now. Maybe want to battle the rather awesome Omega Knight, who's now sword free. So I can't find a pit of sword from uh, Fortnite. Who is an amazing looking figure as well. Yeah. Give the stand up. And I can move them over there. And they're all getting ready to battle this armoured foe who is missing his sword. I must have just knocked that on the ground, I think, on my uh, on my chair somewhere. I'll have a quick look now while I'm here. Is it over here? No, no, no. Oh, there it is. To battle the awesome Omega Knight. He'd he be in the top right. We've not seen this video yet. He is not 
one of Jazzware's finest ever Fortnite figures. Really, really good. Here's a bit of paint to him to give him some differences. But they can battle him or your monsters or something else. Great figures. Joy to are doing a fantastic job with these figures from their... Is it Jang Hu? Um, Dark Source Jang Hu. They're looking really, really good. And I'm all in on these. And it's hard. This is, you know, if she, if she was released last year, she'd probably be in the top three, top four of my uh, top ten figures for 2022. Again, I'll put a link in the top right for that top ten list. If you've not seen it yet as well. Great figures. Highly, highly recommended. Do invest in these. There. You'll be so happy with them. Fantastic job by Joy to it again. Okay, if you like sort of content again, please do consider joining the Patreon. Link in the video description. You can join and you can cancel your subscription anytime, not a problem. And it's worth doing just for a month, even to see the stuff early, the exclusive stuff. And also we have prize draws and raffles you get free and extra entries into. Okay, subscribe to this YouTube channel, share this video if you want, smash that notification bell icon so you don't miss a video when it's released. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.